how you do one BCL. I like that. So I like he's that. definitely a thinker, but he's also a Faust player, so he can he can go. Right, right. He can snap and just turn on the burner, 6H, 6H. He's definitely one of the more aggressive Faust players out there, I would say. And so I definitely think it competes with many Blazer style and forces Manny to actually respect something here and there. Oh, it's, oh. It's important. oh my god, this might be a stun. Okay, Manny Blaze fights his way out. Right. Oh, good! Oh, big uh, counter hit. Yeah, and you know, unlike the last boss fight we saw, you know, Xavier is gonna keep moving as much as he possibly can. It's just yeah. Oh, Manny's spending that dead angle, which means he's not getting meter back. No needle wire C on deck for a while, which is really important for the fast player in this match, for sure. Wow, the 2K stops the move, insane! And yes, that is an extremely good option for man grab. Ah! <laughs> Little boy finishing him off. Yo, he's like, yo fam, get down, Mr. President. <laughs> Safe day, and Xavier takes the first match. Ooh, great back dash. Able to get the full combo off that. Has to force the burst at this point so that he doesn't get into a yes. bad situation. Manny taking the guaranteed burst. That orb that Xavier was able to tech back into it. Right. <laughs> and Manny now mashing his way to round three. Yep. Dude. And there was no reason not to do in that situation. Yeah. I'm not going to blame Manny for that one. I was just like, hey, you need one hit to win. Just get that one. How are you I thought Manny had black hole combos for a second. Oh, no. No. There's no way. <laughs> Ooh, good defense from Xavier. Oh, spends the meter on the air throw. It's going to max out his excitement here. Ooh, good. At 6P. Right in the corner now. Oh, man. Number knockdown there. One Manny more mix not up. able to get 50 meter. Has it. Used it instantly. All right. So oh. Trying to hit that burst earlier. Didn't work out. First with that pixel, but now he's got to navigate the needles. Ooh. Oh, dash yeah. under far slash. Yeah, sometimes that just works out really well in that situation. Say, I see you airborne. You're committed to this direction. I'm just going to go a little bit further and just say, I'm out of your range now. There's nothing you can do. If you do land, you have to block the situation and I can just nail that. Alright, and Savior, again, thinking man. Taking right. his time to think. Definitely played a lot of that stuff in the matchup well. Kind of some of the stuff that we were lacking from the last Raven Faust matchup where he's anti-airing, staying out of that pressure range, jumping around and making sure that Manny has to chase after him. The thing is, Manny's chasing after him! Yeah, Manny... <laughs> Going, yeah, and it's such, it's so hard to play neutral against Raven where he just kind of will jump and throw needle or air dash. Right. And you just have to be watching him, but watching yourself so you don't get hit by the needle. Yeah, and he's always in those weird dead zones that you have to deal with. You're like, I don't know what to do about this. He's just, just in 60 range and I can't do much about it. But it's under needle, but uh, the air dash does stop it. Oh. Meteor's coming down. Oh, oh! That could have been really bad for that distance. Item throw not able to bait the burst. Oh! Just goes for the raw stand D! Gets right. caught on the dome and Manny on match point now. Looking really strong in the second print of Rats right here. What? <laughs> Why? That was a long range, too. I'm surprised that Saber didn't react to that one. Wow, that's going to be knocked down. That's just going to be knocked down. <laughs> Shout out to the changes that go in my way. Oh, man. Manny takes those meteors, gets in full excitement now. Right. Oh, all right. This is a good opportunity for Savior. Can we jump H again? Oh, God, get stuffed out. Oh, great anti air. And kind of corner swaps there, putting Manny back in the corner. Jump H again to really control the space as much as he can. Oh, okay. That big. was a perfect. Oh, oh yeah. big meteor! No, and he doesn't punish it! Ooh, that was actually a good standing, Greek standing combo. Oh, just gotta finish him off. Good time. And now, what a back dash! How did he do that? Oh, wow! Oh. That was a great anti air from Blaze. He has this opportunity. Oh, that's gonna be decent damage with knockdown. Not gonna kill yet. One more. Oh, oh you oh. tried to get snarky, Blaze, but Savior, the Savior of Bouch players, is able to take it, even in, even in the second match. Dive kick. 
All right, 5K. Stop it this time. Ooh. All right, gets a knockdown. Can he get the air dash after? Oh, no need. Gonna go for a simple pressure. 6P. Oh. Yeah, perhaps 6P throw OS. Right, exactly. Trying to toss him by catching him if he jumps anyway. Ooh, just burn him off the mini bows. Yeah, always important to make sure that you try to confirm as much as you can off of your try straight hits. Wow, the YRC invisibility. <laughs> Oh, and it, it's such a scramble situation I right know. now. Oh, but Savior getting put in the corner. This is very high stakes. All right. Hope he doesn't make a bad burst here. Again. Oh, tries to crawl under, but unfortunately gets hit for his troubles. Command Blade. grab. Just rushing through this. One more knockdown. Didn't Savior, almost full stick of butter, has burst. Oh, no. Oh, man, he's going to get one more donut. Tries to go oh. for the throw. Doesn't matter. Just confirms it to the scratch. That will do it. Manny Blaze takes it 2-0 yeah. against Xavier, but definitely the numbers don't tell the full story. Those are both very yeah. close and also very, very scrambly and silly matches. Yeah. <laughs> I enjoyed it. I had a great time with that, but ton of fun. Yeah, and they, they play each other all the time. Uh, so yeah, yeah, yeah. Xavier comes down to TSV basically whenever he can. Manny, of course, always playing, always there. Mm -hmm. So yeah, a lot of familiarity. Saw like Savior dying with his burst, maybe like respecting it too much. Right. Maybe he was gonna miss. Yeah, yeah. Man. And I feel like there was a lot of like kind of try to be call out moves from Manny, and it was like, no, that wasn't on paper. That wasn't worth it. But when you have to play against those people that you play, you're very familiar with. Yeah. yeah you just have to throw it out there and say, hey, I remember this crazy situation I ended up in last time, and this is the answer. This really ridiculous move. It's like. Everyone else was like, why would you do that? And it's like, no, it's the brain genius play, I promise you. Yeah. Sometimes you gotta walk forward 6H. Yeah. <laughs> Which I respect that. Which also lost to wake up dive kick. That uh that hurts. Which 6H usually beats out something like that, but yeah. Uh, not this time. <laughs> so uh, fun. So many, so many moving parts in Exard. So many different ways that what was that? Right, exactly. It's, it's a marble madness maze, and you can you can approach it in so many different ways with so many different physics that the game throws at you. But yeah, ultimately, um, hey guys, got who's uh, Ahmed's opponent? You know, so looks like we got A3 coming up, and on the other side, we got Kirby from yeah. Kirby Superstar. <laughs> we know or not? Uh, I believe I am not familiar with the player. No uh, ID on my yeah. side. I gotta get up and ask. Damn. Oh, well, well, let, me, let me see if the um, I have a spreadsheet right here. Yeah, check that out, real quick. But, but it, it's not updated. Like, so, oh, oh, eighth in religion, RTW maybe. Let me ask. Let, oh, let, let me ask. Yeah, double double make sure. Shout out to Arturo, by the way. You know, understand that sometimes you have to get up and get down and dirty with the business and make sure everything is run well. And we respect all the players that who do come up here and show themselves up. We want to yeah. make sure that they are able to find their match player too. Yeah, find your matches. You know, have the commentators calling you by the right name. Right. <laughs> don't have to go through like, I don't want to be mystery man. Right. <laughs> Come on. Although, I, as a side story, mind you, there was someone who was at one of our tournaments, and then we, I hosted a, si a separate event, and I had to sign everyone up personally. And so he said, I'll come to this event. I'm like, great. And I sat there for a bit, I'm like, I don't remember his username. And I sat there for a bit, I'm like, well, I'll put it as a placeholder. Like, I'll put, like, Wyoming Jam, because he was a jam player. He's from Wyoming. No big deal. And then I released a list of people who were showing up, and he's going up there like, Wyoming Jam? I'm like, oh, right, I forgot, I forgot <laughs> to actually ask the name. And he's just like, you know what, I like it. I'm Wyoming Jam now. All right. So yeah. I'm like, cool. Maybe this guy will be the man of mystery or mystery man in future tournaments. <laughs> Maybe we started something for him. He's like, all right, this is my new start. The man of mystery. Man. Yeah, so speaking of mystery man, we got another Johnny coming up right now. A3 yeah, the legend. Yeah. New York, Johnny. He's an old head, been playing Guilty Gear for long, very long time. Right, right. <laughs> Perhaps longer than I've been alive. <laughs> Don't want to date anyone here, but, you know. Oh, and we got RTW coming up. Yeah. Uh, Dizzy, very strong. Uh, see him a lot on, like, net play. And uh, uh, he enters a lot of online uh, tournaments. Yes, yes, yes. Uh, so he's always on the grind. Right. And... Kind of like what I was mentioning earlier with like Bay players. Disney players are also kind of coming out of the woodwork too. Like they finally understand like, oh, my character can actually do something really good. Oh, let me continue playing like this. And like they figured out a grab that actually really works for them that yeah. other players are like really picking up this character super nicely now. And yeah, she feels like a character with a lot of tools. Like 
I feel like if I wasn't playing Venom, Dizzy is the character I would gravitate to most. I can see that. Because she, her projectiles are a lot worse, in my opinion, but the fact that she has way more movement compared to a lot of the other zoner characters in Exard really opens a lot of situations that she can, like, create or thrive in, right. where other zoners are just in a struggle situation. Right. <laughs> That, that extra movie is just so nice for the character, and it, it's being embraced now with all the sort of big that people have figured out about the character. And one sort of, one sort of, um, what do you call it? Weird aspect about this matchup is that Dizzy can block Johnny Coin with her fish. Oh! So there, there are a few situations where against other characters, Johnny can just kind of like throw out the coin, hope it trades with something, and just right. be happy. Where in this matchup, that will not work. Exactly. Yeah, I, I even think that about that aspect whatsoever, and that makes a lot of sense. So there's like this extra layer of defense that he has, especially on the counterfish too. Then, yeah, because then that forces like Johnny to block B on defense at that point. And additionally, with the fish, like you've seen a lot of players, like they have a lot of meter, they dead angle out, right? Because you don't want to hold mix and guilty here for that long. And against Dizzy, because their fish eat a hit, they'll stop the dead angle, which means that if she drops you in the corner have to hold what she's throwing at you or burst. Exactly, exactly. But, uh, now, well, speaking of, we're getting back into there right now. RTW starting off strong after that wild 6P under Miss Finder Miss. Yeah, so if that was the Ice Fish, A3's uh, dead angle attack would have just whipped. Oh, yeah, yeah. You always hit whatever item or projectile first. Or I say, whatever creature of the night first. <laughs> oh, oh God. man, RTW about to die on full meter. Oh no! Oh, you hate to see it. Oh man, it feels so bad in X right. when that happens. What a, what a misfortune for RTW. Oh, air dash back and forth, starting off strong again. Ooh, I like that. It was simple, it was effective. Keep it yeah. off, RTW. A3 already on half health here. And playing that good piece of defensive game, catches the jump out. RTW is super aware. Alright, let's see if there's any burst bait. That's yes. Always. Always burst on the corner against Dizzy, because her corner mix is so good. She can just get, like, three tick throws in a row. Right. And they're very hard to escape. Oh. Oh. That fish biting now, RTW, now matching one for one on the first round, first match. And yeah, this match is looking like it's going to be really close already. Ooh, all right. Crush over Miss Fire. Dash Miss Fire. Great 6k there. Oh, and gets the hard knockdown from it as well. What the heck, though? Oh, oh, wow! 6p pushes RTW far enough forward to the sync of this is. What an air throw into the corner. This can turn this entire match around, but again, A3, level 3 on deck. A lot of meter right now for RTW, so kind of evening out in that regard. Oh, that's gonna be good damage. Level 2. Oh no, goes for the burst instead of the uh, uh, the dead angle. Really banking on that. Ooh, oh, the blocks overhead. the instant overhead. But unfortunately, that still means that A3 has a lot to work with at that point and just air dashes right back in. Oh um, man, I'm feeling so bad if I'm RTW because both matches lost with so much meter on deck. Right, right. And mind you, really good matches on both ends. Definitely extremely winnable. Ooh. Not a bad situation right now for RTW. Punk does not have burst, and RTW does, so let's see if able to make this happen. Ooh! A3 Religious, like, defense is like, extremely on point. Using a lot of those, like, niche options that just to get through certain situations. Yeah, and able to kind of punch out here with the coin, which means level 3 time. Oh, oh no! Johnny's, Johnny's will always do 3 overhead, or oh, almost. Yeah. Oh, what a stylish character, and he gets Deadward! the stun! Deadward! What happened? <laughs> A3 Religion telling this man to pray right now. RDW now on the verge of losing the set, but really fighting back at this time. Yeah. Wow, that destroyed Fish. Fish blocking it, keeping RTW safe, but A3 still able to come down with the button there. Right, exactly. Man. A3's like feats of execution are so wild. <laughs> Instant overhead level three in the stance dash cancel treasure hunt. Yeah, that was so clean. 
dig it. And now he gets a hard knockdown here. Go. Alright. Oh. oh. Yeah, those, those instant overheads in the corner are so strong. They are so strong. And I mean, mind you, RTW's defense, even in those big rush, was still really solid. Yeah. No, when, when he blocked the, the first yeah. instant overhead, it was like, whoa. 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 Can't do that. Yeah. The first one? Yeah. Like, that's not like, happening. Now you're like, okay, I've been hit by this a few times. I'm learning my lesson. This is we kind of do situations. Like, no. Stop. Hold on a second. Okay. <laughs> Check yourself. And then, but uh, A3 just absolutely prepared for it. Air Dash is back in any way. That JK. Just double overhead. And sometimes you just gotta. Yeah. You gotta shrug and, and like, dang. And at, at the end of the day, it's four out in these brackets. So yeah, RTW. Damn. Very likely we can still see him in top 16. Exactly, exactly. So still good stuff to him. Uh, still a lot of players we've seen in this bracket that's like, you know, this is all easily top 16 potential. Yeah. Because every single bracket, every single pretty much match is like a really strong match. Like everyone is playing at the topest level in a topest level area this yeah. weekend. And it's just so insane about how hard this tournament is, how condensed this tournament is. Yeah, there's so, so much skill from every single player. It feels like you have people who you know who are really good players who are going like 2 2. Yeah. You're like, what the heck, man? And they're just like, oh, yeah, I ran into this guy and I ran into this guy. And you're like, yeah. yeah. That is like, I, yeah. I won't take that away from you. You're right. <laughs> you're right. And when you're right, you're right. <laughs> uh, but the matches here have been just insanely good so far. It's rare when you get this high of quality of matches throughout pool yeah. play before top 16. Before the, you can crown anyone as you did a good job at this event levels. It's like, it's insane. All the and it, it, it feels so bad to watch sometimes because you got you got someone who you know has top 60 yeah. potential, just gets knocked out. Yeah, right. Just like had a bad day or just you know wasn't, yeah. wasn't awake, didn't get enough sleep. Because yeah, this is a tournament where you can't have a bad day. Right. Right. Oh, uh, everyone's so good. Everyone's so good here. And, you know, definitely glad I was able to come out. And uh, you know, if you're ever thinking about this next year, folks, oh, come yeah. on down to Chinatown, everyone. Yes. Yeah, and the new venue we got is so fantastic. Oh, yeah. Last Super TSB had, like, one bathroom <laughs> and, like, 100 people banged up in, like, one room. And it was fantastic. Because yeah. the event's great. But now that there's, like, the same event, but a venue that kind of, like, reflects the quality, so good. And it looks like we got Shine coming up here. Another TSB. <laughs> Well-known player, incredibly strong, wins pretty much every local we have here. Right. Uh, but I'm very excited for this one because Shine is a player who doesn't really travel a lot. Yeah, yeah. Doesn't yeah. come out to a lot of other events. So this is an event where he can kind of like bring that skill to the world and be like, yo, you guys coming in from Chicago and California, I'm going to put you in the dirt. Versus Kizza Crate, who's just currently known as Fit. <laughs> Hashtag Fit. And I mean, if you want to be lit, you got to be fit. So let's go, Kizza Crate. Oh, let's go for the 6P. Jumps over it. Shine. Now they get punished for his trouble. Wow! Chases with the 6H. Insanity. Yeah, still doesn't catch the backdash. Right. Get best backdash in the game. <laughs> Throws on Kizza's turn. DP's on Shine's turn! Oh! Calls out the Blitz! Right. With the empty jump JD. Oh, but it's Shine time! Shine time, I like it. Hashtag fit. Uh, up. Ooh, good jump from uh, Kizzer Grape. Right. Oh, misses wow. that Pod Buster, but Kizzer not able to punish in time. Ooh, catches him Ooh. ducking! But doesn't get the right combo off. Unfortunately, it's gonna be big damage oh. though from Sean. Oh no! Doesn't quite also. connect the six H, but gets him on the BD. Yeah, BD, BD heavy, definitely taking that one. All right. Oh, back that's too early. Time, Time to, to guess. Him. Oh, and Potemkin gets so much damage now that he's in the corner. Right. And it's so much scarier for the opponent. They have to guess out everything at this point. All right, kids are trying to run this now. Oh, oh that dash buster! What a use of that blitz! And then oh, dash and buster. you're dead. You're oh, dead. dead. Shine. Oh, Showing man. that grappler stuff. Right. Put hands on him. Man, and Shine has been showing off as well. And Grand Blue, he's got that Ladiva play. 
And it's just, he's just playing the same game. Yeah, once again, you, you gave you gave the, the Guilty Gorillas the ability to play puts and smart stuff. And now it is showing off in insanity right now. Oh my gosh, the damage that Hashtag Pit is taking. Yeah, two pot busters. Probably gonna get one more for this round if this game is done. Let's see again if he can get the Blitz backdash. Kids are not even going for the same situation. Right, right. Doesn't want to test the bear. Yeah, it's a little bit scary to have that approach at this point, too. It's like, I've been busted two times. I really don't and can't screw up at this point. Oh, and just throwing out the Scum Dipper in neutral. Wow, actually slides out of range and gets with the gold burst. Great right. gold burst. Has to make this count. Has to entirely make this whole thing count. Down to 50 meter. Has burned from two wire C's. Wow! What an air grab! That was insanity. That reached from so far away. And Shine now on match point, going up against Kizzer, who has just been destroying everyone on stream so far. And hopefully, with that, all that fitness, we'll be able to make this a win in here too. Ah, I skipped the fun. I'm upset. I'm going home. <laughs> All right, get the throw, puts back to the corner, tries to mix it up. That back dash is really giving crazy. It's a great, a hard time. Oh, and it's in the corner now. Nice back dash on the safe jump there. Shine mistiming it a little bit. All right, gets up the 2S. Oh, jumps oh. over him. Does block it, but doesn't block the second hit. Great flick. And now Kizzer is really in the danger zone. Good 6P. Back here. Oh, Sean jumps out. They use that first. Go oh, first. Oh, yo! How ready can one human being be? Sean jumping up into that go burst, instant blocking it, and goes instantly for the buster for the punish. Just awesome. super ready for everything. And that's who, just who says gold burst is unpunishable? Uh, Sean don't. <laughs> Sean don't. <laughs> And that man definitely shining that last match right there. Get, gonna move on to the bracket a bit. Uh, kind of forgot the timing a little bit. So we saw about two of the game, games. He won both of them. Yes. So at that point, I think that might have been to get out in top 16. Perhaps, yeah. Perhaps. Kizzler might just have one more match with losers to get right. out of top 16 as well. Right, right. So we're, we're getting definitely down to the, the nitty gritty of these, uh, these brackets. But yeah, man, that I was also, a... I know that Lost Soul is in this pool. So yeah, I was going to say. I've, I've been surprised we haven't seen any of him yet. Right. Lost Soul, I do see him chilling over there. Yeah, the no, right he's side. just booling over there. Exactly. So <laughs> doesn't look like he has a stream match coming up. Right. He's, he's, he's having a good time. He's just happy to be here, which I don't blame him. <laughs> Yo, we got the the Vitrix coming up. All right, let's see who's next up. I see I see some masculine arms. Oh, right. Teresa versus <laughs> Spectrin. Yeah, Spectrin, a uh, pretty well known East Coast uh, Eno player. Uh, seen him at stuff like UMAD, uh, ECT. Definitely plays his fair share of online. Yeah, uh, he's definitely a person you can go to if you like need Eno. If you like want Eno practice, I know one of the guys I came here with, Moku, just kind of hit him up and was like, hey, I got two Enos in my pool. <laughs> like, can you just run like a first to death against me? And he just, you know, he, he's a helpful guy. He right. wants to see the community improve, so. That, that's awesome. That's, that's, that's really good spectrum for sure. And definitely, in turn, it's made him a strong, strong player. Yes. Yeah. Definitely in my community, I have uh, Havoc Noah. So like, I feel like I'm pretty confident in the Eno matchup. But, uh, <laughs> sorry, Noah was playing and he made a face at me. <laughs> <laughs> I looked over. Uh, so, but, you know, then I go online, I play something like Spectrum, and then, like, I get, like, the first, like, two, three games, and yeah. it's just all downhill from there. Like, Spectrum's like, all right, I'm smarter than you. <laughs> I know what I'm doing. I just have to figure out what you're doing first. Yeah, and Eno is a character where her pressure is so freeform that if they can find a figure out what, you, what you're comfortable blocking right. and what you're not comfortable blocking, they can really just turn the burner up on what you don't know and just... <laughs> oh, they can... And anytime Eno, like, hover throws me, I'm just like... Uh, why do I ever jump? And then you get, start getting mixed in the ground. Like, oh, that's why! <laughs> yeah, I do have to say, though, I thought you said when you say he turns the burner up, I thought you said he turns the burner up. I'm like, oh, dang! <laughs> is, is that... That's how East Coast rolls? Yo, All right! <laughs> Eno play is a killer. There's killers out there! <laughs> 
Hey, I'm killing here. <laughs> my dog Eno on the street. Right, yeah. <laughs> Yo, check out my Eno. My Eno's nice. <laughs> she be grabbing people's bursts and shit. <laughs> uh, I am, I am certifiably, I am certifiably considered not East Coast. So please ignore anything I was saying in East Coast fashion. Dead ass me. Man, you better not talk shit about the subway. <laughs> I don't think anyone I'm in New mess. York is gonna defend the subway. I'm mess you up. <laughs> Man, no I love one. the subway. I no grew, one's gonna. I grew up on the subway. <laughs> I grew up on the subway. <laughs> Man, <laughs> having, <laughs> having Guilty Gear tournaments on the D train. <laughs> okay, oh Spectre taking Teresa's burst early on, which not a bad idea against uh, I know, because you know has to be a lot of hits in some cases with the no impression and whatnot. So we should probably get it back. Oh, oh no! Man. Takes his burst to turn. Spectre oh, unfortunately not panning out with the burst early burst often. There's gonna be so much damage here. Gonna go for the reset with the 6P, make sure that no buttons are pressed. Super easy, super clean there from Teresa. Taking the first round. Yeah, Spectrum, like, one neutral and then got put in the corner, and that was kind of it. It's like, thanks for the game. Thanks for the one hit. That's it. And that's kind of like the Guilty Gear experience. Like, knockdown and corner pressure is just so strong. Yeah, if your character don't, don't got it, then uh, you're going to get it. <laughs> yeah, and Eno, of course, you know, no deep. Needs meter for that, and you know Spectrum is not getting meter right now because no. he is dead. He is dead. Meter meter gain has stopped, <laughs> and so has Spectrum's heart on this uh, first round. Yeah, he's got the hand on the chin, do some thinking. But it's one of those matches that it kind of happens so fast. It's like, can you pull the data from there to bring it together for a second match? Yeah. yeah, when you're dying in like four to five interactions, right? And so many of those interactions are usually like. Interactions you're already thinking about, like you're like, oh, she's gonna frame trap or she's gonna do an overhead, and you guess wrong. And oh! All right, Spectrum. Maybe it was enough. Maybe Yo, drops him in the corner, no burst, open him up, and he has 50 meters, so the next piece up is gonna be really, really gross. Okay, still has 50 meter though. Can really make the next mix up count for a lot. Or just oh, super like that. Spend it. Oh, yeah. what? That Teresa, traded? do not give this man a pixel. Do not. Teresa, no. You can't do it. You can't do it like this. Okay. Oh, no. Oh. Press the button afterwards. Oh, no. Oh. And his blocks were so good. I cannot believe Puffball traded with the super. That is insanity. Oh, that is so unfortunate for Spectrum. And now Teresa on mass point. Oh, my God. That's 6H. Oh, God. Put him in the court. Oh, my God. Man, oh, Spectre just not watching the dome with these Genki Rins. All right, Spectre trying to find his way out the corner. Ah! Oh, oh no! Get! Get me off this crazy thing! All right, this is, this is Spectre's chance. Well, Spectre's oh, chance has quickly man. left the building. <laughs> you know, uh, there was a lot of good stuff there for Spectre, but I think he kind of broke after that trade. Like. Yeah. After that point, it's like, what do you, you feel, you don't feel good. You start thinking about why did that happen? And then you start just, you, get, you stay stuck in that time period almost. Yeah, and those magic pixel situations are so hard for like your mentality. Right. Because you're, you're like, I won that match. Right. Like I won that match, but oh, Puffball traded. Yeah, I made the right read. I had the life lead. Yeah. And now I'm getting, I'm, I, now I bleed. Yeah, <laughs> so. and it's like, in the in the in the round where I threw the burst, yeah, I got the reversal super. I mixed them up. If I couldn't win that round, yeah, if I couldn't win a perfect storm, just yeah. dang, it, 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 it deflates the ego. Yeah, just it's, it's definitely a mentality killer, and it's something you have to stay cognizant about. Like while you're just around. Oh, sorry about that. I, I was trying to unmute myself. You know what we have up. We got Savior on Oh, oh Savior and Bosch. Right? Savior and Bosch. Yeah. Oh, man, Bosch. Bosch. Yeah, we got the chip player. Okay. Definitely a, a fellow I, I followed. Sa for Savior on the right? Savior on the right. Yeah, screen right. You mean second player, right? Yes. Okay, Savior. <laughs> <laughs> he, the one with the mask. Oh, that's Savior. Okay. Yeah, that's, that's Savior. I, I second player, yep. <laughs> Sorry. No, you're good. You're good. Thank you for checking in, as always. Yeah, okay, what, what good. Yeah, shout great out. to see Bosch this far in bracket. Yeah, yeah. Definitely no slouches. One, like, the last one, 
two chip players? Yeah, not a lot of chip players yeah. out here on the East Coast. Like, I know you have uh, Stripe. Stripe's out yeah. here. Um, and then I think there's one. No, no, that's Texas. Uchiha is Texas. And then outside that, there's like a chip player who was playing yesterday who I don't know who that yeah, was. Yeah, there, there's a chip who comes to TSB sometimes. Uh -huh. But the thing is, is that his main is Answer. Yeah, okay, so we're talking about the same person. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> is he'll like, is he'll, he'll like whoop me with Answer. And I'll like switch the chip, and I'm like, okay, I got a secondary now. I got him now. And then his chip is like as good as right. better, and it's like, oh, <laughs> damn. Just, just strictly ninja business type of stuff. Yeah. <laughs> I, I like I like that thematic cohesion with the secondaries. Yeah. For me, it's like I main Venom, and then I play Johnny as a secondary. Because if I'm gonna play another character, I might as well just move up the tier list. Right. <laughs> There's only like one spot left. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, you know, I respect that. I respect yeah, that. That's, that's the way it should be done. Look, you know what you're about, you should embrace it. No, no shame in playing good characters. Exactly. You know, identify yourself and know who you are and be that person. Be the best person you can be. Yeah. Alright, so... I feel like Faust has a lot of anti-air tools to deal with just like the classic chip teleport stuff. Would you agree with that? Like, I feel like 2K not getting crossed up is pretty good. Yep. Uh, 2K is kind of like the level one proverbial tool for this matchup. So it's like saying, are you going to do cross up stuff? 2K is like the go-to answer until the chip shows I know how to answer against that. Okay. Then, Faust has to start playing a lot more mix up work, a lot more tricksy where he's like, okay, I know you're gonna Run, I'm gonna back dash, I'm gonna air throw you and really control with those universal options instead of the 2K because otherwise 2K gets stuffed and you get that knockdown with high damage. Yes, and Chip, such a strong character. Uh, the Gamma Blade changes are just ridiculous, trades with everything. And definitely, I'm, I'm kind of interested to see how uh, Savior handles this. I think the fact that with Savior being such an aggressive player will help once he's a knockdown. But yes. I don't know how it's going to help in the future situation. If Boss is going to tie a steamroll him in that regard. Or how much these two have been played, let alone how many chips Savior has really played in the recent times. Yeah, I I definitely put Chip as like a matchup that Savior probably doesn't know that well. But I also feel like it's a matchup where his kind of fundamentals can really carry him. Yeah, yeah. And also just because it's a matchup where if you get 6H at the right time, you kind of win. Yeah, make, make a chip bleed for everything he's worth, hopefully. So we'll, we'll see kind of what happens here. You know, I think a little bit of patience in this matchup goes like a long way for Faust. Yeah. He kind of get into those, like, those mid-range situations and trade situations where you just have to figure out how you RPS against a chip who's also trying to outnormal you too and yeah. try to get themselves in without teleport. Yeah. But once teleport is sealed off, that's when a game truly begins. So let's see if we actually get to that point or not. For sure. And it's so rough because you finally get chip to stop teleporting. Right. And then you ah. have to deal with the run speed. Yeah, yeah, that's the big one. You start, he's just running at me menacingly. One thing I noticed that Bosch does a lot that I don't see a lot of chips do is Bosch really likes having the fast shuriken. Oh, so yeah. you'll see him there just spend the slow shuriken, get the fast shuriken, and use that in neutral. Ooh, good 5k. Oh. Ooh, good defense. Alright. That's good. Savior already like showing that he can deal with the teleport pretty well. Yep, but kind of missing out on those kind of ground interactions. Doing a lot, committing to Pogo. Hopefully. Maybe hoping for high damage. Oh, goes for a 6k instead of a 5k. Gets an item out, which is fine, but that's a lot of damage on the table. All right. Oh, good call out on the teleport there. All right. Oh, 6p. I mean, 6h. Excuse me. Faust players. Yes. Not unfair. <laughs> oh my god. Nice. And it was one of those things like, man, if you, if you lived off that, you're going to get stunned. You were, that stun was yours to have. All right, oh, whipping the, the gamma, gamma blade. Yo, Grand Blue. Popping off yeah. for some Grand Blue right now. All right, Savior getting very simple mix up against uh, Bosch. Bosch is not respecting the 2K at all. Making it really easy for Savior to have good Oki against him. Yeah. Bosch is kind of jumping around right now. Isn't really pushing in, not playing too aggressive. Right. Which I also respect because 
Bosch probably knows Savior is such an aggressive player that if he can play kind of like the chip game where he's just kind of poking him out with Chip's amazing normals, he can make that work, but not in that match. Right, right. None of them are kind of swinging for that mid-range stuff. They're trying to just get at their very optimal ranges, and whether that's good or not, hard to say, but yeah. it does pan out for Savior in this regard. Yeah, and definitely in, like, the scramble situations, like, Faust does have, like, the damage profile, where, and, you know, Chip has a low HP, where Faust will usually come out ahead. It does feel like Bosch is kind of, like, betting on stuff in neutral a little bit more than he has to. So, for instance, like, whiffing a lot of Gamma Blades and Alpha Blades, trying to call out specific ground movement, where Savior will, like, take to the air. It's kind of willing to just, like, jump around with bomb bags and stuff like that. Right, right. To try and block off as many of those options as possibly can. I mean, they're definitely, they're definitely beatable in many of situations, and Bosch is not able to capitalize on that, unfortunately. But, oh, gets an anti-air. Nice slow for YRC. I don't know if he can convert off of it because Savior was super jumping when he hit him. Oh, oh no! big counter hit there. It's so beefy. Yeah, that is, that is an awesome Air throw awesome time. Player. All right, definitely did that. The mix chips get chip gets is so good in the corner. Oh, oh wow, none of the meteors hit, but it still was enough damage anyway. And now Savior going on match points. Bosch looking to get his burst back this round. And burn it really early. Try to get out of that corner situation as much as he can. Bosch gets swept for his trouble. Again. Oh, double low. Ooh, again! Oh, and Savior working on a perfect right now. Oh, wow! Whoa. Covers and the jump out it. with the 5K and then just goes for the throw OS afterward just to make sure that, look, if you're going to be standing there, cool. I'll cover all the options. Did you decide to jump after the 5K? Cool. I cover all that option. Yeah. And that's just like extremely good trap. And Savior, definitely the player where if he feels out that you're respecting him too much, will just throw your wake up. Oh, exactly, exactly. And that's what that was right there. And just really, really strong play from Savior in that last match. That was super clean, great setup, really hyper awareness of every situation that he was kind of thrown into and that Bosch had to deal with. Yeah. And yeah, his aggression really paying off. Bosch kind of seeming like very anxious. Right. With kind of the decisions he was making. So many Alpha Blades, so many Gamma Blades. But I think at that point here, it's just a lot of a matter of uh, for any, any chip player out there really is to start playing at that like far S range and really try to counter poke as much as you can because you can't always get in and sometimes when you do get in and you screw something up, Faust is very able to like say I'm going to anti-air you or something, yeah. I'm going to trade something with you and make sure that you get knocked down, all that sort of stuff. And we did see stuff like Alpha Blade follow up, like yeah. paying off. Uh, so so this is a dual fangs in heaven sense, I believe? Ah, all yes, right. yes. So dull fangs. Oh, dull fangs. Dull fangs yes. and heaven sent. All right, I, I believe I may be recognizing one of these players as a jam. Okay. From, I uh, from the Maryland area. Okay. And I at least know heaven sent. Uh, definitely on online milia player. Okay. Yeah. I, I may just be looking at a doppelganger in that place. Right. Okay. No. no. Oh no, boy. No. So. All right. Well. Bye. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Um, this is this is a very a very high skill matchup, but also no one wants to watch this. This is gonna be uh, it's gonna be a match for sure. I got nothing to say about that because uh, <laughs> it's just kind of be like, all right, who knows Milia well enough to be on the offensive for a longer period of time on top of defending the other Milia for a long enough period of time. Yeah, absolutely. And so much of this is going to come down to the neutral, just because if anyone knows how to defend against Milia setups, it's Milia players. Right. Hopefully. Like, potentially. <laughs> it makes sense on paper, but at the same time, you like you sometimes just like play against your own character, and you're like, oh, that's what I'm making people go through? <laughs> oh, OK. <laughs> I understand now. All right, they mirrored each other long enough. Oh, they went back to menu instead of Whoops. character select. Whoops. Uh-oh, yeah. hit with that and left, Japanese mix-up. Yeah, left heaven sitting dust. <laughs> All right, 
Uh, press start to enter as player two. Start. There, there we go. go. All right. <laughs> so like, I'm kind of like worried. Like, does know that, right? <laughs> that was it. <laughs> Hello. All right. Oh, they're giving. I think they're giving newer match colors too. Okay. About to see player two, Milia. Yeah. And let, me, let me just make sure of this prior. Yep, that's the mirror match color, so here we are. Evanson on the right with the white Milia, Dole Fangs on the left with the red Milia. And, and the movement begins. Oh, all right, good oh. Throw. Okay, Milia players get opened up by double roll. I feel all right. Oh, yeah. It, 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 that's free for everyone. That's why Elbow can do it. You know what? What must be really rough is figuring out whose pin is whose. Because I'm pretty sure that Dolfang's ping and pin is right there, and he just missed picking it up. But I don't, I don't know. Yeah, okay, so it was Dolphin's ping. Yeah. Okay, so there's the there's the red one, and then there's the completely white one. All right, so that's their, their color, more or less. Oh, wow! That, that pin into Falling Jump Ace, that was actually very tricky. Man, it seemed like he was very vulnerable, but Heaven Sand able to get the move out and confirm into a combo to finish off the first round. Yeah, and Dolphin's kind of missing an opportunity there because the big thing about pin is that it's an anti-anti-air. Right. So Milia exactly. kind of has the ability to move around the screen in ways that other characters aren't allowed to because you just, like, 6P them. But Milia, because she's able to kind of, like, call you out for trying to anti-air her, Whenever she doesn't have that pin, she becomes way more predictable to deal with. Exactly. Their options are limited. They're limited. You don't have to worry about being forced to block in that weird situation. You can actually anti-air. There's so many different options here. But even right. in this match against each other, they're not anti-airing each other very much. They're trying to go air to air in these situations and stay above like pins and stuff like that. Oh. All right, Dolphin's going for the reversal, but yeah. Heaven Sent not falling for it. Alright. Oh, just straight out sweet! So much damage off of this one. Alright, we got Secret Garden Oki. Oh, no! Man, and Heaven Sent going up game one. Right, and Dolphax was ahead at that uh, second uh, round. It was looking really good, but just one little screw up and put, found his uh, back into the corner. Yeah, because million matches can swing. Alright, going with the match two here. Yeah, once again, just focusing a lot more on that movement instead of actually like waiting and planning out any sort of like anti air situation or anything like that. Just saying, I'm not gonna try to prevent you from moving. I'm gonna move it. Wow, that was a here. great air unblockable. Oh, gets out, gets his pin. Actually, you know what this reminds me of? This reminds me of Fox Studios in Melee. <laughs> They're just trying to outmaneuver each other and outswag each other as much as they can to show that they have this superior motion and superior execution. All right. All this is. All right, Heaven Sent, Secret Garden Oki, so oh, hard boy. to block. 19 frame overhead. I hope you drink your coffee this morning. Right, yes. right. Otherwise, you're going to be hit by this, and you're going to go down a lot. Just like Dole Bank, now one round away from potentially going to... Potentially probably, to Yeah, probably because going home. Too. Man, double roll. Oh, good defense. Good block. Sent, looking good. Or, excuse me, little face looking good because it's getting mixed up by colors here. <laughs> All right. All right. Wow. Man. <laughs> Ultimate confirm. Yeah, and Milia JP is such a good air to air that I kind of see why Milia players don't really want to try and anti air with like 2H or 6P. Because getting hit by the pin is so devastating in this situation. Yeah. Goes low. Absolutely. So it, it, it stacks up to that mental damage too, so it makes it hard for you to actually want to try anything. Even though you got to try something, you got to move and make the pin actually hard to hit. Oh, Dolphin's getting that air throw. Oh, gold burst. Wow. What a throw. All right, one more opportunity. Doesn't block. Maybe try recess reversal. So maybe wait for either the super or a maybe not great. Uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Could have tried to like instant blitz it and yeah. jumped out. Yeah, maybe just screwed up the blitz, got a button instead. Unfortunate for uh, Heaven Sent, but now they're one more in this second match. Dolphin's trying to bring it back right now. And it's it's Milia, baby. Anything right. can happen. All right, back into the corner again. Good defense from Dolphin. Nothing dull about his defense, that's for sure. I think he gets opened up instantly when I say that. 
Oh, no. Whips the first. Fortunately, it was oh, OTG, so no real damage can be really amassed from that. Both players without, or no, Heaven Sent picked up his pin. Oh, Dolphin's making it happen. Corner here. Both players with no meter. Oh, oh, and gets him with the mash. Right, simple 5Ks, and that is all you need just for a quick anti-air. And uh, Lily definitely has one of those, and a lot of those, too. For sure. So, have a sent. Sure. Hi, guys. Real quick.